Hello, my dear friends, it's Black Bright, spending time with you again sooner than I expected. And thank you for sticking with me, all my lovely subscribers. And if you fancy subscribers, please, if you fancy subscribing, please do. I'm not consistent. I don't do a set. Um, I don't talk about set things. I tend to talk about anything that I feel could be helpful, anything that might be uplifting, anything that might be informative. And today I wanted to talk to those Jamaicans in particular who may be sitting in England and say, boy, I go back to my yard, you know, me I go back to Jamaica, I come in, I like it in England, too much restriction. I'm talking to those people. Well, Jamaica ain't no different from England, mate. They're under their thumb. They're under the government's thumb. And now you ha need a COVID passport in Jamaica. Hmm. Can't go nowhere without a COVID passport. So it's the same all over the place. So you run to the hills, the hills are going on. Because it's the same thing anywhere you go. So people are going to have feel kind of mentally bound, physically bound unless they take control of their lives and their situation. So let me just read. The source is the Jamaican Information Service and it's the Ministry of Health and Wellness has launched the, digitize, the digitization of the Jamaica's COVID-9 vaccination card, otherwise known as the COVID passport in the UK, Green Pass in in um. Germany and yeah and I think it's also known as the Green Pass in Italy. So the digital card which will be made available on the ministry's www.moh.gov.jm website. MOH I think that's Ministry of Health. It features a quick response code, QR code, to enable the validation of the information on the card and the person's vaccination status. The digital card is accessible via a mobile phone or other electronic device and provides for ease of travel as the QR code is readable on international platforms. It also has the capacity to generate a new card on demand. The card can be downloaded or generated in printable format. To access the digital COVID-19 vaccination card, you need to visit the ministry's website. Click on vaccination resources, where persons will be directed to a drop-down menu. Get, the validate, get and validate a COVID-19 certificate. That's what you'll see. Get and validate a COVID-19 vaccination certificate. You then follow the instructions provided to enter the requisite details to generate the card within 72 hours. The system allows for verification and update of information. The digital card, which is internationally accepted, was developed in accordance with World Health Organization standards. Portfolio Minister Dr. The Honourable Christopher Tufton in his address at the virtual launch on Thursday the 23rd of December said it is global, it is accepted and it will certainly place us in a tier among the world's population that allows us easier freedom of movement as it relates to the screening aspect around COVID-19 response. That is the thing. Everybody's following these orders because they think it's going to give us freedom of movement. But all it's doing is telling people how far they can press our buttons. That's all it's doing. There's not going to be no freedom, freedom of movement. All we're going to do is get fur tighter and tighter and tighter controlled. That's all that's going to happen. Every time um, the people comply, they move the goalposts. So let's see what's going to happen now. In light of the new and emerging trends around vaccination screening, he said the development of the digital card is timely as it enables persons to provide proof of vaccination, which he pointed out 
is increasingly becoming a requirement in accessing and conducting transactions. So you can imagine all them bad man. <laughs> me not take the vaccine, you know. Me not take it. But if they want to go somewhere, they're to take it now. <laughs> it's not even funny. All those artists who want to perform in different countries all over the world. I said, me not take the vaccine, you know. Me not have to take it now. If they want to go where they're going, if they want to earn a living, but it's not the mark of the beast. Not yet. Regarding the security of personal data, Dr. Tufton said the system has built in security me mechanisms to protect persons' information. He also reminded persons to be selective of the entities or individuals with which they share their digital vaccination card. Now, some people might say, boy, okay, I'm bad if I don't get this card, you know. Give me a card now, I'm buy a card, man. You'll be committing an offence. Fraud, punishable, prosecution, whole heap of things. Don't share your vaccination card. You've gone through the trouble of taking the vaccination. You've gone through the risk. If they want the benefit, they need to take the vaccination. Like it or not. But don't give up your vaccination card. No matter how much they want, Pierre, you it's not worth it. Because if they find out, it's not going to be worth it. But you're going to find a lot of people, they're going to either try to borrow somebody's vaccination card, or like when they were forging the American dollars, they're going to try to imitate or create a vaccination card. But these things are digital. They're not no ordinary dibby dibby vaccination cards. They go through a whole heap of security thing the same way. I mean, I know people have um, forged um, the $500 notes and with all the lines and stuff. So I know that it can possibly be replicated. But if you know that what you're buying is a, for is, is a forgery, you need to be careful. Just go to the proper place. If you've gone through the trouble of taking the vaccine, you know you need to go to the trouble of going to the proper place and don't try and get it off the back of a lorry, as they call it. Dr. Tufton encourages persons to visit an official vaccination site for assistance in accessing the digital card. They know that people are going to be approaching people for the vaccination card. It's going to be big business. Because people ain't going to, a lot of people ain't going to want to take the vaccination. So you know this is going to be big business. You know people are going to try and, and create a, a, a copy of that card. So you need to be careful and protect yourself. That's all I'm saying. So if they're here. So Mr. Milado noted that the system will always also allow the input of information on COVID-19 booster shots. So even that you can't get a weird with. This function is to be made available by the third week in January 2022. Third week. I'm seeing, I'm trying to see the synchronicity. Ours is the 17th that things seem to be going on in the UK. This is the third week, so I guess the third week takes you up to about the 20th, I guess. Anyway, with the certificate being launched today, which was the 23rd, this came out. Did it come out on the 23rd or the 26th? Anyway, recently. Jamaicans now have the ability to provide certified proof of their vaccination status with the touch of a button. As people move around the world again, this will help us travel with a bit more ease and to have a quick access to certification wherever it is requested, she observed. As long as you ain't on the red list, love. <laughs> so anyway... Things look like they're moving. We'll have to see what happens. Let's create, like I said, I don't want to go back on my word. Let's create the outcome that we would like to see. So we would like to see an outcome where people are moving, traveling, doing everything they want to do, going out to work, going for a drink, going for something to eat. All of them till there. So, you know what I mean? It's all prophecy. Nothing you can do about it. So don't fight it. Bye.